business. Wag din dapat. <laughs> so hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and for today's video, ang i-discuss natin is about the profit margin. So um kasama nito, wait lang. Hindi ko siya sa ulo. <laughs> Kasama dito yung uh, EBIT, EBITDA, EBIAT, and NOPAT. So, ano na ba itong mga sinasabi ko? So, tara, discuss na natin. Bye! <laughs> Hi everyone, good day. My name is Kim Jordan Naguba and I am going to discuss about the profit margin. So, what is profit margin? Profit margin is a measure of profitability. It is gorgeous the degree to which a company or a business activity makes money essentially by dividing income by revenues. Expressed as a percentage, profit margin indicates how many cents of profit has been generated for each sales. So sa profit margin, makikita natin kung magkano yung nag-generate na money or kinikita ng isang business or ng isang company. So, para makuha yung profit margin, kailangan natin kun alamin yung net income, tapos i-divide natin sa sales or sa revenue, then times 100, para makuha natin yung percentage. Kasi ang profit margin ay nag express as a percentage. So, paano naman natin kukunin yung net income? So, para makuha ang net income, yung sales ay ililess muna natin yung total expenses. So here's the example on how to get the profit margin. As we can see, meron tayong total revenue of 14,953,224. So yun yung total revenue, ibig sabihin hindi pa natatanggal dyan yung ibang expenses. And then, nung malas na lahat ng mga expenses and taxes. So, yung naging total niya is yun yung net income which is 2,486,798. So, ngayon sa right, sa right side, pinapakita dito yung computation ng pagkuha ng profit margin which is the net profit ratio is equals to the net income divide sales times 100%. So, net profit ratio is equals to 2,486,798 divide 14,953,224 is equals to 0 0.16630 something and then ito times natin siya sa 100 to para maget natin yung percentage niya and kapag na times na natin so magiging 16.6% so yun yung profit margin 16.6% Meron din tayong tinatawag na EBIT or the earnings before interest and taxes. EBIT or the earnings before interest and taxes is a measure of firm's profit that includes all incomes and expenses except interest expenses and income tax expenses. So when we say EBIT, so ito yung income na na-generate ng isang company na hindi pa natatanggal o nababayadan yung mga taxes and interest kaya tinawag siya na earnings before interest and taxes so there are two methods para makuha natin yung EBIT the first one is um, total sales minus cost of goods sold minus operating expenses divided by the total sales times 100 to, para makuha natin yung percentage the other one is the net income plus interest expense plus taxes divide total sales times 100. So here's the example. So ayan, isa substitute na lang natin. Ano? So let's try this one. So again, the formula is EBIT is equal to total sales minus cost of goods sold minus operating expenses divide total sales times 100. 4,000 minus 1,500 minus 200 divide 4,000 times 100 is equals to 57.5% so that is the EBIT margin. Next one is the EBITDA or the earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. 
EBITDA is a measure of a company's operating profit as a percentage of its revenue. So knowing the EBITDA margin allows for a comparison of one company's real performance to others in its industry. Calculating a company's EBITDA margin is helpful when gauging the effectiveness of a company's cost-cutting efforts. The higher a company's EBITDA margin is, the lower its operating expenses are in relation to total revenue. So kung sa EBIT is um, earnings before interest and taxes, dito naman kasama na yung depreciation and amortization. So the EBITDA calculations ay yung net income, the interest, the taxes, the depreciation, and the amortization. Do yung, sum, yung sum noon is yun yung EBITDA. Para naman makuha natin yung EBITDA margin, so EBITDA divide total sales times 100. So dito given na yung earnings and the EBITDA, so i-substitute na lang natin. So the EBITDA, 2 million, divide total sales or the earnings, 1,200,000 times 100 is equals to 16.67%. Next, we have EBIT or the earnings before interest after taxes. EBIT or the earnings before interest after taxes is a measure of a company's operating performance. EBIT is a measure of how profitable a company would be if it paid taxes on its operating profit without the benefit of the tax shelter that is created by using debt. So, EBIT is useful for analysts who wish to look at a firm's performance while accounting for the tax environment in which it operates. To calculate the EBIT, so EBIT times 1 minus tax rate. So, using this income statement for the year ending December 31, 2009, so try natin kunin yung earnings before interest after taxes niya. Given the income statement and the formula na gagamitin para makuha ang EBIT, which is the EBIT times 1 minus tax rate, so i-substitute na natin. So EBIT is equals to 750,000 times. So kailangan muna natin kunin yung tax rate. So 100,000 divided 700,000 is equals to 0 0.14. So 1 minus 0 0.14 equals to 0 0.85 so 750,000 times 0 0.85 is equals to 642,857 the next one is the NOPAT or the net operating profit after tax so net operating profit after tax is a financial measure that shows how well a company performed through its core operations net of taxes NOPAT is frequently used in economic value added or EVA. The calculation it is a more accurate look at operating efficiency for leverage companies. The NOPAT formula is operating profit times 1 minus tax rate. Using this statement, so let's get the NOPAT. Using the given formula, so let's sub substitute. So operating profit. 200,000 times 1 minus 25% is equals to 150,000. To summary, profit margin conveys the relative profitability of a firm or business activity by accounting for the costs involved in producing and selling goods. The key difference between EBIT and EBITDA is that EBIT deducts the cost of depreciation and amortization from net profit, whereas EBITDA does not. So EBIT, therefore, includes some non-cash expenses, whereas EBITDA includes only cash expenses. In corporate finance, net operating profit after tax or the NOPAT is a company's after tax operating profit for all investors, including shareholders and debt holders. For a rough calculation, NOPAT approximates earnings before interest after taxes or the EBIT. So, oh, yun lamang! And sana may natutunan kayo sa ating diniscuss today. So, ingat and God bless! <laughs>